Every team needs players and coaches, but every team also needs support from the boosters and the community. And there's a lot of ways to contribute. We found several ways in Madeira. This is a story about a building at Madeira High School. Not real exciting, huh? I didn't think so either until I received this email. It was from the school superintendent with this line. Our new athletic center has been built by one alumnus, Tom Walter. One guy? That got my attention. But let's take a step back. Madeira is a terrific community, great schools, and we've covered some very good sports teams there. But when it came to their weight room, ugh. The old weight room, I think girls were afraid to even go in there, and I don't blame them. You know, it was so nasty. And it was cramped. It might answer the question, how many weight machines can you fit into one room? Well, as many as this. The rest you put out in the hallway. Everyone agreed Madeira needed something better. But who would pay for it? We were always told it would just have to come from private funds. Um, this, it wasn't in the school budget. So John Kravak, Madeira class of 83, began raising money with his wife. Donors saw the same need. Larry Shakely, class of 68, jumped in. So did longtime Madeira booster Terry Jacobs. They raised $600,000. Enter Tom Walter, Madeira class of 74, a residential contractor whose kids are long graduated from Madeira but he's still a Mustang through and through. The school district has been just exceptional for our, our family, and this is just a way to give back. So since June, giving back has meant drilling and pounding and painting on the weekends or at night with a dedicated group of volunteers. The thing that I find really fascinating is that the school district would agree to turn over a project of this magnitude to a group of volunteers. These were Madeira guys with all kinds of expertise to take care of the roofing and the plumbing and whatnot. Sean Marone is the Red Strength Coordinator and a Madeira resident. He suggested this garage door opening, just like the Reds have at their complex in Goodyear. It opens up to an artificial turf workout area on the fringe of the football stadium. Remember that old weight room, dungeon-like, four gray walls? Get on a treadmill in the new room. It's open, it's inviting. A place that they want to want to be. You know, we have the TVs, the sound system. The final touches were being applied this week to the facility, which encompasses more than 5,000 square feet. And that's $600,000. Well, it's, it's been turned into a state-of-the-art facility worth well over a million dollars. It's all because of a Madeira community generous with its money, its time, and its talent. I mean, when you go out and, and do a job for a client, you know, you get paid and you uh, pay taxes on what you've made and you go on your way. Here you're creating something that's here for the community forever. It is very, very nice. And they're going to celebrate the opening of the Athletic Center next Friday night. And that's prior to the Mustangs basketball game against the Wyoming Cowboys. There's going to be a ceremony prior to the game, then a chance to tour the facility after the game. Give it a